Vanessa. And I'm Travis. And we're late to the party, and we've got Travis back. Oh, and boy, am I late. <laughs> yeah, super late. Oh, man. You missed out on your uh, first pick for this oh, series. Well, I'm glad you guys were able to do it, and it wasn't too spoilerly. Spoilerly? I mean, the Walter Matthau kind of gave it yeah, away. I'm glad you used yeah. my notes, so thank you. <laughs> and it was quite, quite vulgar for our taste, oh. but... Woo! Glad you liked it. I, it's, I it's... hope you keep the vulgarities going because <laughs> well, we'll that's see. what makes kids sports movies great. I'm glad. I, I like the movie a lot. That Bad News Bears was good. Not, I didn't really like the remake, but right. uh, I'm glad you guys enjoyed that one. I'm glad you've seen that one. So let's continue so this yes, track. please. What do we have next? So we're moving on, uh, a few decades later to uh, 1992. Okay. Uh, cool. This movie was released uh, March 27th and then it um, had a budget of $20 million. $20 million. But it only made 14.8 million, Aww. which That's is kind of sad because I really did enjoy this film. Okay. Um, the crazy thing about it is that the studio that did it was Paramount, and they struggled to how they were going to promote this film because their star, uh, his image is very profane. He's a edgy, very edgy, like Bob kind of Saget. Right. But it worked for Bob Saget, as you know, is a kids' sports movie. Right. So they had a difficult time with it. Okay. So, any guesses on what it may be? I can't think of anyone Lady other than Bugs. Bob Saget. Ladybugs. Okay. Yeah, Rodney Lady? Dangerfield was quite uh, vulgar. Mm. Well, quite, <laughs> no let's, respect. No let's, respect. Let's, <laughs> let's take a look. <laughs> All those beautiful people. Oh, in this there it is. <laughs> you know his voice. Everywhere. <laughs> Stay indoors. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, and I'm glad you gave me the right finger. <laughs> you have to play ball. Jackie. sponsors a girls soccer team. This is like one of the only like soccer ones besides like big green. Big green. Big green. Big green. You kick the ball down the field into the net. <laughs> Pretty much. That's what I know about it. Forget the ball. Try staying your feet. Chew. 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 Doesn't Cheer in the season. Game, win the game. Win the game. Get the book. 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 I can't look. Hey, what are you, a fish? Well, he's willing to Which try. I don't remember that in the... Could get him arrested. No, you're crazy, Chester. It'll never happen. Chester put a boy on a girl's soccer team. Oh, this... Ow. Don't worry. If it's too tight, you'll get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Next year, you'll have to going back and hugging her. Need Angel Hey, Dave. <laughs> make a women. Ladybugs. <laughs> all I know is. I a lot of balls. balls. I like his legs all shaking. All balls. <laughs> so, Ladybugs, this is actually a heavy hitter in my family. My family, really? everybody in the family knows Ladybugs. Ladybugs. They can quote Ladybugs. Even Frisky Dingo, Ladybugs. I mean, there is a lot of uh, humor that came out of this movie for us. It's we such enjoyed it. a unique movie, too, because it's like you got Rodney Dangerfield right. in like a kid's sports movie for kids. Yeah. And it was just like you never thought that that would ever come together. Because of Caddyshack. I mean, Caddyshack is definitely not a kid's sports no, movie. Even though I watched it when I was a kid. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. But it is definitely, it goes well because he does throw out the humor. You kind of saw it there when in the changing room where it's like Shrek, where it's like the humor is there for us, but at the same time it's there for it, the kids. It, it's there for the kids, but like the adult humor kind of goes over there. Correct, yeah. It's got a little bit of everything for yeah. everybody. So would you see it off based off of this trailer? Yes. Because Rodney Dangerfield, like being in that time era and knowing how funny he is, you would want to go see this movie to see how funny he can be in this movie. He even did like the cartoon too. We didn't cover it during the uh, animated series that we where did. Is the Rod yeah. Rodney D Dodger feel? Or yeah, uh, yeah. Where he, he's basically himself, but he's yeah. a dog. Um, but yeah, that's this thing too. Jonathan Brand is so hot right now, at least at that time. So hot. Which I mean, a lot of people don't enjoy Never Ending Story 2 as a sequel to the first one, which I agree, it's not good. 
but as I a standalone it. movie, like I, like I really film. enjoyed it. Right. I, I got, even got an invitation for Mirror Night to go watch it, like opening night. For Lady Was that was that part of for your Never Ending Story too? too. Oh, but Jonathan say, Brandis was well known. Was it for part us. of your kids critics thing? That was a little bit before, but yeah, yeah, Jonathan Brandis. I mean, he was a good addition, and he had Vanessa Shaw, which pre Hocus Pocus. Yeah, because this came out in '92. Hocus right. Pocus came out in '93, so. Yeah, pre Hocus Pocus. Pre Hocus Pocus, <laughs> and we knew who these these actors were. And Sequest DSV came out not too soon after that. Rest in peace, Jonathan Brandis. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was a lot of fun. It, it had remnants of like some like it hot, where he's constantly changing and having to keep that persona up uh -huh. for both, um, which I really enjoyed. And the fun thing was too, it wasn't so much as like the characters on the team, which positively perfect pass, put it Penny Pester. Um, the team, but it was the coaches on the other teams that Roddy Dangerfield like went up the against. The interaction with yeah. them, yeah. Now I'm gonna get you, Chester! Like the crazy lady that ho uh, was the coach, and then Coach Bull, which was the guy from Waterboy, that, yeah, no, it's how long will you make it? Uh -huh. From Joe Dirt. You like yeah. to see how we'll Yeah, mm -hmm. damn boy, I better know that. But yeah, even he was Coach Bull, but yeah, I mean, it's a fun movie, it's I enjoy it. It's a good classic underdog story yeah. where they are horrible, and then they finally unite as a team and grow up. Which you may see that theme in a few other of these movies we're going to look at. There, uh, there's, I guess, one big theme for all of these movies. There's a lot of coming of age. Yeah, I mean, they're coming of age with the sports, with the team. Yeah. Uh, and deciding if you're going to dress like a girl in a sports team or not. <laughs> yeah. Which, uh, yeah. I like the fact that if if you haven't seen it, which spoilers, is, which is, he doesn't play in the final game. He lets the girls do it on their yeah. own. But it's also kind of like it, they did that with in Bad News Bears, where they had the girl. I mean, granted, she didn't dress up as a boy. No, no. So they didn't. Although it was hard to tell who was who, because they all had the same haircut. It was a 70s long hair. But either way, Ladybugs, what did you guys think if you seen it, let us know in the comments below if you haven't seen it. Check it out. It's actually oh, quite a bit of fun. Do so. Thank you, Travis, for bringing this to our reaction for Sports Kids Films. Well, thank you for bringing me back, even though I missed the last one. That's okay. But thank you guys for watching our reaction to Ladybugs. Let us know what you guys thought in the comments below. You can also like and subscribe. Do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Stardust. All the social networking. Ginger and Senior they are kicking the party, feel the party, keeps the party going at our Patreon. Gets us where we need to go. Also gets you these episodes a few days earlier. And you can talk about it with all your friends about how much Ladybugs changed your life. Because it changed mine. It didn't really. It's a good movie. It's fun. Either way, thank you guys so much. And as always, now it's time to say goodbye. And this party, it's over. over.